Wednesday, October 19, 2016, Durango Jail, Brother Nelson Allen, HopeInPrison.com. Today was Brother Nelson Allen's first visit to the jail as a volunteer. On our way to Phoenix this afternoon, he told me about the fatal car accident his youngest son was in 20 years ago. The high school age boys were joyriding during lunch hour when the crash occurred. One young man died at the scene of the accident. Brother Allen's son died several hours later. The boy driving the car had only minor injuries. The inmates were in a sour mood today. A white guy covered in tattoos growled, F you at a Mexican inmate. The Mexican man scowled back and said he was ready to fight right now. We got everyone seated and moved forward with the class. Brother Allen spoke. He talked about how hard it was to lose his son and how he had learned to rely on the Savior when he was so sad. The sour mood was gone. The men applauded enthusiastically. The state wanted to give the boy driving 14 years in prison. Brother Allen talked with the judge until they reduced the sentence to two years. While the young man was in prison, Brother Allen visited him often. When the young man got out, the Allens supported him financially. Unfortunately, the man has been on drugs and in and out of prison until now. This has been very sad for the Allens. Brother Allen again bore his testimony of Jesus Christ. The men were very touched and gave another round of applause. A man on the front row said he was driving in the crash that killed his brother. He said that Brother Allen's talk had answered questions that he'd had for a long time. As the men were leaving, Mr. Tattoo, who had been so upset at the beginning of class, asked me to please thank Brother Allen for coming today. On our way home, I asked Brother Allen if anyone had ever clapped when he bore his testimony. He said no.